take one. It's time. I'm going to officially put them on. Okay, well first, I'm gonna put the gel pads on. I'm gonna show you how to line them up. It'll be a learning process. We can figure out how to do it together. Time for the instructions. Oh my gosh. So the directions say to put them on and figure out where the midline is when this part is on the inside of your leg. One inch from the top of your thigh. The top of my thighs are a little thick, so I need to put the extender on. To mark midline so I can figure out where to put the gel pads, I'm using bobby pins. And then take them off. So it looks like here I'm gonna be going all the way over that I'm gonna be putting my pads on these sections. You're going to do the same thing on the back side too. And for me, it lines up again using the outside sections. Now the side with the grid, not the solid black side, is the side that will stick on. So peel off the sticky and stick it down. Do it on all four sections. I've got the pads on. Per the instructions, leave the plastic piece on and just put it back on your leg and make sure things are in the right place before you remove them. So again, this part's so much fun. And yes, I can feel they're centered. Hey, why didn't you do it both at the same time? Well, per the instructions again, it says to do it one at a time. That way you make sure that the spacing is correct on one leg before you go to the other. You don't want to screw it up. I can't see to line it up. <laughs> I can't see where the edge of the black is. <laughs> you be tricking? Because the light. Yeah, the bright light. The bright light. Carol Ann. Carol Ann. You don't have to line it up on your leg like you did the first one? No, because most likely your legs are fairly symmetrical. Oh. We are learning. It can be done. But trying to peel off these stickies might not be able to be done. So is the app already set up on your phone? It is. So once you get these stickies on, are you ready to rock and roll? Uh-huh. <laughs> and because we're so cheap that we're sharing a Bionic Gem, you get to download the app too. Nice. For the record, we're not cheap. I decided to get scuba gear, so we're, we're, we're working on our own. <laughs> Quick word of advice, when you go to use it and you pull off the plastic, keep them. You're gonna put them back on when you're done. It's gonna help preserve your gel pad. And you don't wanna be buying them all the time. All I have left is the cord that connects the two legs together and the bionic gym itself to be connected in its little cradle. And yes, it bunches up a little on me. I'm only five foot two. You got a little stubby legs. I've got it on and it's looking for the app. I just got a Facebook message from Louie as I'm trying out the bionic gym for the first time. Apparently, people have commented on my photo of kissing the box. Oh my. What? I'm sending it to him. Yes, you did. So, connecting, pairing? We'll get back to that. Ugh. Now, back to pairing the device to the app. They connected. Just to kind of show you what the app looks like, I will not be doing the pro setting anytime soon. My husband may, not me. Remember, going slow. Let's see, start here. Hello, start here. Click here to unlock. Are we ready? Work files, transfer. Let's start. Here we go. Is it doing anything? Oh, nope, it's still on zero. Now I have to increase. <gasps> did, you, <laughs> did you feel that? What does it feel like? Like when you put your tongue to a nine volt battery <laughs> and you don't know it's coming. Now it's not as startling, it just feels like Move, slight movement. At first, it took me by surprise. So what, you can just crank up the, the the juice as much as you want? Is there programs like you're jogging and you're walking first? Or? Yes, yeah, it's got the hit mode. It kind of, like a treadmill, it takes you through ups and downs of higher intensities and quicker speeds, made to be able to get your heart rate up. And from what I understand, there's many different modes, that way you don't get bored with doing the same pattern over and over. 
I don't know how my body's going to react to this. I have something called small fiber neuropathy. So my nerves react differently to touch and feel and even temperature and shaking. So this could be a new experience. <laughs> I wonder what it feels like laying down versus standing. You look comfy. <laughs> So now what, you're just going to sit there on a half a level or you're going to crank it up? <laughs> no, I'm going to be brave. Not a lot of difference between level one and half. About the same. 1.5, two, maybe slight difference. Now your battery's low. Oh well. Who cares? What if your phone died and the biotic gym was still running? It has a safety, it turns itself off. Okay, so I just took the pads off. I have to say, if I had hair on my legs, I might not anymore. That first time trying to take them off, they hold well. But now I know what to expect. I think I'm really gonna like this. I have even higher hopes than I did before, and let's face it, they were pretty high to start with. So, time for my husband to try it out next. So, I'm all set. I'm gonna do the hello start here. Click here first and enjoy. So, this is our first time actually seeing you. You wanna introduce yourself a little? Well, while it's, while it's <laughs> transferring, work files are transferring, I am the other half. I am Jeremy, the husband, and me and my wife are going on this bionic journey together. So. It's so cheesy. <laughs> it is the cheesiest. Okay, so I press start, right? Uh-huh. Started. And he is? Wearing them. And I got them on. Yep. We skipped all the pleasantries of showing you guys what that looked like because I'm a little bit more hairy, <laughs> so it's a little bit more painful. Okay, here we go. I'm cranking it up to 0.5. Okay. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. It doesn't hurt, but it's like pop, 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 pop. You know, so it's like it, it almost feels like there's something wrapping around my legs. For 0.5, I can definitely feel that. That's weird. I went to one and it feels like it, it, it lessened. Yeah, it, it's not as startling. I personally want to do this for an hour. You know, I mean, just for the heck of it. You know, see what happens. Not just You're like, allowed to do that. Just gradually crank it up as I go and we'll see what happens. All right, I just cranked her up to 10 just for giggles. So this is considered like a walking speed. Oh, I can't have that. I gotta be sprinting. Well, it says <laughs> to start out slow. You gotta get your muscles used to it so they I can gotta do burn it. weight. <laughs> Check out the toes. Oh yeah, this is proof that I'm a, a loving father. <laughs> and has a daughter. I took his phone. I had the power. She has the power to drop <laughs> me to my knees. So what did you just say? I said, I don't like sitting at all. It's like, what you can feel way more. It's almost like I want to fight it, but it's like, no, just just go with the flow. So you don't, you prefer standing? Well, it's less intense because like now there's, they're, there's just, they're not being used. They're being contracted. So it's like more intense. So we just watched one of our favorite shows. And now I'm up to 52 minutes. I got eight more minutes and I've cranked it all the way up to 27. So my legs, they're, they're shaking, they're sore like I've been working out and I'm sweating. And uh, I don't know how elevated my heart is, I don't know, but I mean, I, I could probably, it's probably up there a little bit more. Our heart rate monitor comes in two days. But this is definitely a doing the job, but it is hard to get used to when it gets up to a higher intensity level. But sitting on the couch definitely, uh, it was more intense because it was shaking me off the couch. But standing here, it's it's not as bad, but then I gotta stand, it's, you know, boring. I'm gonna go up to 30. I'm very optimistic of the future now. I mean, 30 days, you know, I could definitely see this working. So I'll do it every day for the next foreseeable future until I can fit back in my pants. And tomorrow we're going to get our measurements. Oh, can I just say fat? Because you can just keep going up to 35 now. It's hard to stand. Yeah, it's because I got it cranked up to 35. I got five minutes and I've done it for an hour. And then you can take them off and then you can see the reaction. Jeez, man, I feel like it's... Like I get to 40 and then I'm like, oh, this ain't bad. But now look at my legs. <laughs> it has a delay. So if you crank it up, like I go up to 45, it's a couple seconds before it actually starts working. So you're like, well, that's not bad. And then it starts knocking you to the ground. <laughs> 50. 20. 40 seconds left and I've been an hour. I mean, I, I, I got sweat, my heart's elevated, and I am I got butter legs. 30 seconds left, ding, 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 crank it up to 60, wow. And we're done. It just shuts off cold turkey. I expected <laughs> to collapse, but uh, everything feels normal. That's pretty weird. So now, well, 
we'll see what happens in like an hour when, you know, when I cool off. Okay, so he's done with his first day. We're gonna say bye for now and we'll check in tomorrow. Don't worry, I, I helped uh, oh. ease part of it for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it feels, oh, it's, it's like, it's unpleasant, but it feels so good. It's like pulling glue off. Oh, oh, it's, if, oh. Go slow. Oh, that's amazing. We'll do what the back feels like now. <laughs> ah, no hairs. I think we're good. Whoa! <laughs> There's all the hairs on the back of my knee. 